Good afternoon. I'm Kim Johnson. And I'm Ali Lucia. Thank you for joining us. State Senator Dan Schoen has retained a lawyer to defend him against a potential forthcoming ethics investigation. This comes after multiple women say the Democrats sexually harassed them. Schoen is denying allegations of unwelcomed advances and inappropriate text messages. The allegations were first reported by MinPost. Since then, the alleged victims have released more information, saying they reported Senator Schoen's behavior months ago. Representative Aaron May Quaid told MinPost she, quote, avoided him like the plague after he made the unwelcome advances through text messages. Uh, Back really in May, cool House though, Minority Leader Melissa Friday, Hortman uh, sent an email to House Speaker Kurt Down asking him to, quote, take steps to stop sexual harassment that is occurring. The House of Representatives policy on sexual harassment states that if a minority leader or speaker receives a complaint, it should be reported to human resources. The speaker should have reported to HR, should have forwarded it to HR. Um, Arguably, so should have uh, Representative Hortman, um, and HR would have taken over and done an investigation. And that's the obligation of the employer. So it never got to HR, and the investigation was never, um, never took place. Speaker Doubt released a statement confirming he was made aware of general concerns regarding the work environment in the House back in May, but says he was, quote, not made aware of specific complaints and names of those responsible despite repeated requests for information. State Representative Tony Cornish is also facing harassment accusations. Representative Aaron May Quaid and another woman both say Cornish harassed them. Quaid says Cornish sent her inappropriate text messages about looking at her on the House floor. She says the text went on to say it was her fault and she looked, quote, too damn good. The Republican from Blue Earth County denies the allegations and says the messages are being taken out of context. It was obvious that it was... Um friendly banter on the house floor and texting, you will notice that in a couple of places she says, ha, ha. And um, after that, we've had friendly conversation. We worked together on legislation. Several lawmakers, including Governor Mark Dayton and Representative Aaron May Quaid, are calling on their colleagues at the Capitol to create a task force on sexual harassment. Stay with WCCO both online and in our newscast for continuing coverage of these harassment allegations at the state Capitol.